In today's video, we are gonna go over the foods to kick out of your life if you have arthritis. And this is the exact list of information that I give to all of my patients. And don't worry, I'll give you some suggestions on foods that you can have. So the big question is, how is food and arthritis related? Well, very simply, we can eat foods that can increase the inflammation in our body, which can directly increase arthritis. But there are some foods that have known effects on things like RA, um, things like the pain in our joints. So we want to cover those today. So number one, omega-6 fats. And if you are a fan of this channel, you know I'm always talking about, we want to increase omega-3 versus omega-6. Here's where the problem comes in. Omega-6 fats come from plants. They're your soybean oils, they're your corn oils, they're your canola oils. So many of us have been brainwashed, one of the worst expressions on the planet, which is to follow a plant-based diet. And so what happens is we do this and we're still eating all these oils and we're like, why in the world is my body so inflamed? And I'm like, well, you gotta look at soybean oil. Here's why. A study in the Journal of Clinical Pain showed that a diet high in omega-6 can definitely worsen the symptoms of osteoarthritis and RA, so which is rheumatoid arthritis. Now, what can we do? I already kind of said earlier, hey, we wanna do some omega-3s. Now I get it, how do we switch out our margarine? Well, we do 100% butter and particularly Kerrygold. I'm a big fan though of just our regular olive oils, which are awesome. And I'm a huge fan of avocado oil because it's very neutral. Both of them have good smoke points. So they work in a wide variety of, of cooking items. So keep the switch very, very simple for yourself. Added sugar, as if there's not more reason to avoid sugar in the diet. But again, we've always been taught to follow a fat-free diet. And again, we have to remember when they pull fat out of a product, they're gonna add sugar in for taste. How to look for added sugars in the diet well, think about things that we normally don't think of. Because most folks, I think, who watch these videos already avoid the soda, they avoid the candy. But look at things like your ketchup, like your barbecue sauce, like your salad dressings, all those little toppings that you put on food. Read that ingredient label. Some of my favorites that are low sugar or sugar-free, um, that doesn't have any added weird stuff in it is brands like Primal Kitchen, Chosen Foods. A lot of our store brands now are doing this, which I think is amazing and is exactly what we want and if the ingredient list is clean then you go ahead and you buy that supermarket brand because I will because I am bougie on a Bayou budget boo processed meats now this is a tough one because a lot of us who may have some type of inflammation will kind of go over to a keto diet and I love everybody in here knows I love keto I promote keto but here's where we do it wrong a lot of us go to it and we kind of look for the best of it which is oh I could do meat which it's more fat that we do so I'm gonna do like salami pastrami all these processed meats you want to be very careful with that and here's why processed meats lead to inflammation which can increase our arthritis symptoms by increasing our c-reactive proteins and gang i will be the first to tell you i absolutely love salami and pastrami and all those wonderful cuts of meat so i look for nitrate free there's some wonderful brands out there applegate's a great one hormel natural again i cannot stress this enough to read the ingredients on that label the other thing you can do is if you have a dehydrator which a lot of our air fryers do is you can make your own kind of jerky your own type of processed meat product that you can have alcohol many of us know the dangers of alcohol that it's not a great idea to consume any kind of extra alcohol now a study showed a relationship between increased alcohol consumption so those who maybe have that extra glass a few two times is tied to an increase of arthritis in our spinal cord now it is a disorder that i cannot pronounce i will list it on the screen right here so bottom line, we would want to limit our alcohol consumption to a glass here and there. There are some products on the horizon. One brand is called Fitvine, and they really are working to keep the ingredients cleaner. They're working to keep it a lower carb wine. I've tasted it before. I think it's very light. I think it's a lovely glass that you could have so that you could enjoy yourself with your family and your friends, but really limit that alcohol gain. It can really do so much more harm than good. Oh, gluten. So. 
If you know my story, you know that I have cut gluten completely out of my life. I don't have celiac disease. I cut it out because I felt like it was inflaming my body. I had migraines. I just wasn't feeling good and I cut it out and I felt 200,000 times better. There is research that links gluten to an increase of inflammation in the body. And like I said earlier, including our migraines, including our arthritis. So really evaluate what you're eating right now. Can you do a gluten-free sub? For example, the bread you're eating, which hopefully you're not, is there something gluten-free that you can do? I encourage lettuce wraps for our folks who go anti-inflammatory. There's some wonderful gluten-free granolas on the market that I'll link below. They're absolutely delicious. And what's great is 10 years ago, these items were not available and you were kind of looked a little weird if you were gluten-free. But now with this improved research, it's like, okay, let's do the pro granola. Let's do things like make our own bread that are gluten-free because yes, while we may not have celiac, but we have arthritis and if we cut it out and we feel better, holy cow, how amazing is that? Margarine. Now margarine does fit in the category of the omega-6, but I really have to talk about some other kind of icky things that margarine has. And for example, margarine has something called AGES, Advanced Glycation in Products. So how does this add havoc to arthritis? AGES can actually build up in the body. And so that's bad because if we get enough buildup, it can cause chronic inflammation, which again leads to that arthritis. So what can we do? Well, there's some wonderful olive oil spreads. There's some wonder avocado spreads that you can use in place of that margarine. So cut it out of your life. And the final product is such a heartbreaker to me, but it's a good educational moment. And that is imported frozen shrimp. This hurts so much because you know I love shrimp. You know I did a video, I'll link it in the description box of how to fry shrimp in our air fryer. But really imported shrimp, what happens is, is that they usually bathe the shrimp in either some type of iodine solution or some type of salt solution. So it skyrockets the sodium that is in that product. And this is often found in a lot of other frozen foods because they want it to have a great shelf life. So let's just add that preserve to it. There is a study that reveals that foods high in sodium are associated with RA, which is our rheumatoid arthritis. So best suggestion for you, especially when it comes to frozen seafood, is look for local. You know, I live in Louisiana, so I'm pretty lucky I can get some coastal seafood. But while you're shopping, just read that ingredients on the label, see where that shrimp or that frozen seafood or even that frozen dinner is from. So what food shocked you the most? And be sure to comment below, scroll into the description box, and download our keto and anti-inflammatory menu to be sent to your email. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks, gang.